We let ourselves down by our own expectations. Um, the way you present yourself is how people will perceive you. We live in a society where when life gets too hard, there's so many different outlets to just avoid it, to escape. And we have to look at it realistically and then act accordingly. doesn't or does not owe you anything and that's something that I think a lot of people don't understand that like I hear a lot of people believe that their greatest effort demands or deserves some sort of reward and the world doesn't work like that like it's unfortunate that sometimes we try our best and the things that we feel that we should get and get it back or receive is something much higher than what we actually get. This is a small example that like anytime you want to sell something that's close to you, something that you find very valuable, you put a number and you're like this is gonna sell like it's a high price and then people are like mm, I'll give you five dollars for it <laughs> and you're just like that's definitely not how much it's worth. And that's kind of how the world is. We go into life with expectations that the world will bend over backwards for us. And it could be just the way that we are raised. Sometimes we have so many things that help us not fall and it's become problematic. Like when you don't fall, you're not able to understand reality. If you're always being pushed up, you build this ego and this expectation that these things are the way it's supposed to be. And then life, sooner or later, will crush you. There are a couple of phrases that I've heard that really grind my gears. And one is, I deserve a vacation. The phrase itself is not bad, but it's usually the people who say these things that don't deserve a vacation. Why do you deserve a vacation? It's such a first world thing to say. Like, there's people in other places of the world where they work their whole life and they work more than what they're getting paid for. And then they die. And that's it. No vacation, no time off, no benefits, no health insurance. I, I do agree that I think there's people who work really hard they, they grind, they work their butt off, and then they eventually take a vacation. But a vacation should be well deserved. And so, like, when someone says, I need to take a vacation, or I deserve a vacation, you have to be able to justify that to yourself, that like, I did X, Y, and Z, I've been doing this for such amount of time, I've, I saw the benefits, I saw the reward, and the vacation is for me to get out of that mindset and come back into uh, grinding even more. So that word, I deserve, is, it's gonna be such a letdown when you find out that you don't deserve it. Or like we make these demands to the world, but like I said, the world doesn't owe you anything. Nobody in this world is obligated or we should expect to do something for us. Another phrase that just gets me going is it's time to put me first. I think our whole lives is about us. Like we're selfish machines. We just keep on doing things for our pleasure. Usually people say these things to avoid responsibility. I don't think you're like the ultimate mature person until you're able to sacrifice for your, someone else. That you can get out of your own mindset and either have people depend or be that reliable or take responsibility for someone else. Like once you hit that point, then you're your peak maturity for me.
we've lived in a society where when life gets too hard, there's so many different outlets to just avoid it, to escape. And these escapes justify our reasoning because we, we think and we see other people um, live a lifestyle that's not ours. And so we think that the world's out to get us. We're doing all that we can, or we tell ourselves that we're doing all that we can, and the world comes back and bites us in the butt. Ouch! The first thing that you do wrong is put these expectations on the world. People put these expectations that the world will treat them a certain way. And that's so delusional. Like, life will let you know how the world should be treating you. And I think there are people who the world mistreats them. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I think there are, there are circumstances. There's people who are disenfranchised. But a lot of us don't take that responsibility that we are screw-ups, that we messed up, that we could have done something better, and we blame it on other things, on other people. And then like, a good helpful hint to see if this is you is that if you're in the same situations multiple times, and it's always the other person who is causing you harm, or you're getting the bad end of the stick, maybe it's you. <laughs> The way you present yourself is how people will perceive you. And we can't lie to ourselves and think that we can present ourselves any way and then people will take us in the way that we want us we want them to take us in. Sometimes life is presented the way it is and we have to look at it realistically and then act accordingly. Bam. Genius quote. What we do is that we look at the world, we see it's unfair, which it is. There's a lot of things that are unjust and we try to change the world. And then we are let down and then we get into the, I deserve a vacation. <laughs> I, de I deserve to put time for myself. On a brighter note, or a way that you can look at life in the world and instead of having these expectations on the world or expectations on people to give you this certain life, you should look at honestly what what do you want from a situation? And then look at what is in our way from getting that. We can look exterior on one of the things outside of our lives, but I think it's important to focus on what inside our lives, like what is something that I can change personally? What is something that I can control? And what should I change about it to get what I want? What, what, is, what is stopping me from doing something personally? And then let me change to be the best person I can be to get what I want. I need a wand. That to me is the formula to navigating the world and life. Get a good analyzation of the world, see where you fit into it and act accordingly. See how the world plays a game, play the game and finesse it that way of looking at the world would be much more fruitful than expecting things from the world.